Hey, good morning. My name is Jae Won. Uh, today, I'd like to talk and uh, discuss with you about the Anthropocene. I'm not sure you heard about it, but uh, I'm sure you heard about the uh, Anthropocene, Ilyuse, and uh, the Anthropocene is actually a different concept against uh, an Anthropocene we are facing in especially digital society with many different technologies, including uh, AI, the robotic and automation and some, some and many others. So uh, I'd like to uh, discuss with you about the, this, the topic of uh, the Anthropocene and especially under pandemic situation, automations, and many different uh, digital technology nowadays we are faced with. So the Anthropocene can be make uh, the negativity and negating process against the Anthropocene that we are uh, right now in, we believe we are in this, uh, the era of Anthropocene, especially characterized by the climate change crisis inequality, also at the very high uh, active movement towards the maximum um, entropy uh, the phenomena as well. So since uh, industrial, first industrial revolutions. Everyone knows we are in uh, the times era of a climate change, nobody doubt it. So, uh, these are uh, the times of a climate change, disastrous, unprecedented times we are facing with this one, the since industrial revolutions, the, with the fossil fuel. So we are facing with this one. Even, even we do not know what uh, comes next after this pandemic situation in the name of a climate change crisis. So uh, the characterize once again, I already told you entropy is maximized by fossil fuel. So we have a lot of uh, been obtaining a lot of uh, profit outcomes, consequences out of this, uh, the uses of fossil fuel, but, but we also having a lot of uh, difficulties in uh, cr the crisis situations with uh, the weather with uh, digesters, whether uh, an outcome out of this, uh, the fossil fuel, uh, fossil fuel, the uses to get a lot of growth in industrial and many other uh, area and sort of genic, uh, the centering around the, those uh, the situations. How we actually try to, try to solve this problem? Right now, we have a couple of ideas. So uh, the first, uh, the first three, we would like to use a carbon tax to mitigate the climate change. The second, we would like to adopt the different technologies such as reusable energy, like uh, like wind and the solar power and many other alternative uh, sustainable energy. But we are still having these situations away from solving this one. So that's the, uh, that's the fact we are right now in. And then on the top of that, uh, the climate change, the gestures, the situations so we are experiencing digital generation since 1989. Why 1989? I'm not sure you heard about it in this, uh, in this uh, the special era characterize a couple of different things, which is the reason why we call this year the start of starting point of digital generations. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, so you are young generation, you all digital generation. Meanwhile, I'm not digital generations, I'm born in, uh, back in uh, 1963. 
So we call our uh, senior generations, old generations, is one who has to study digital technology, digital knowledge. But you don't have to learn digital technology, digital knowledge, because you are digital generations. In your blood, in your mind, in your uh, instinct, so, or your distinctive character actually are um, equipped with the digital, I believe. So we have a two, two different generations. The first one, digital generation like you. The second, like me, all the generations, the generation who have to, have to study digital technology and knowledge. So at the back in 1989, we have a collapse of Berlin War, which means we uh, destroyed all the old uh, dogmatic belief, ideology, other trust as well. But since 1989, we start to use WWW, World Wide Web created by one professor from Oxford, the UK, named bon, uh, Timothy Bernard Lee. Also, we started to use a uh, very renovated idea of a GIS since 1989. That's why the year is the starting year of a digital generations. So right now, or nothing but or, digital technology, automations, everything that we, if you look around, we are uh, experience all the uh, automation situations. Even on the pandemic situations, we are moving uh, new horizon with a uh, new paradigm, equipped with the automations, artificial intelligence, robotic situations, and more importantly, we are facing with a movement and the shift in, shift in unit of account, the standard of value, which means, so previously we have a certain uh, the standard of value, how we value everything as opposed to one, which means the standard, but now we are in chaos, how we evaluate other values as opposed to what? So that's the we call that as a chaos in value, in unit of count, the standard of value. So the we call those era, because there is no enough job to spread the younger generations under this one. So we call and define that these times as the Anthropocene. Once again, Anthropocene, Anthropocene centering around the human activity, centering around human activity. We have a freedom to use a fossil fuel since the first uh, industrial revolution. Under this, the Anthropocene, negative anthrop Anthropocene era, the entropy approach to zero, even negative one, which is impossible in physics which means all the occupation, all the job opportunity occupied sometimes virtually by robotic system, automatic technology. That's why we do not have for a younger generation enough job to be, to be worked. Okay, so then, so we have a very difficult situations right now. New times comes as the name of the Anthropocene, the Anthropocene. So uh, the, this uh, the terminology introduced by Bernard Stigler, anthropologist, in his book in 2016. Okay, so now, how we define Anthropocene, the Anthropocene? in a couple of different situations, especially with the capital, because we are living in capital, this country, 
Republic of Korea. Almost all the all the uh, the value, uh, all the standard, the behind the value, all the market. Even with the system of education, many different things because we are dealing with right now is a job opportunity for you. Under the Anthropocene, Tali Luce, the Anthropocene, especially in this situation with pandemic situations. We have to understand what capital is, what capitalism is, what kind of a dominant belief and a dogmatic belief behind this capitalism, even with uh, the government, with uh, socialism as well. I'd like to introduce this uh, the, the movie the back in 2016, dealing with the crisis in economic situation in the 2008. 2008, titled The Big Short, the stared by a very big guy in Hollywood. As you can see here, four different persons and figures. So this movie, the dealing with uh, the derivative uh, goods in the stock market, stock market, very similar to situations right now, I believe. So you may be interested in this, uh, the stock, investment i'm not sure you are investing a stock right now have you heard about the derivative is there anyone to the who invest your money in codex inverse so which means that uh, this one which one uh explain the works so uh as when uh when indices of a stock, like a, like a cost stock, increase, this, uh, this good, the price of this goods is a decrease. The meanwhile, as a um, index of a stock market actually go down in prices, this is a derivative product, the price of its it's a process uh, the increase as well. So opposite in proportion, opposite way in proportion to the, uh, the stock market. So big short means that economic situations uh, goes bad, goes bad, you can earn a lot of money. That's the big issue of this, uh, the, the, the movie. So 2000, back in 2008, what happened? Have you heard about it, or do you know the uh, uh, historic, historic uh, the lesson the from financial catastrophe back in two thousand seven, especially in U.S. economic collapse actually, the from the uh, the mortgage loan, the bubble price of the home and apartment, many different investment in housing collapsed at that time. And after that 2008, the movie and a lot of different analysis comes up, even the queen of the United Kingdom interested in what actually occurred, what caused this financial catastrophe in US and also in around the world. Nobody know yet at that time. Nobody know or uh, wasn't succeeded to figure out what actually caused those financial catastrophe in those one. So many people actually rise up to be against uh, the Wall Street. Have you heard about the occupied Wall Street at that time? So people, the fears of something wrong, but don't know exactly what's wrong at that time in 2008. So at that time, so somebody actually analyzed, interpreted what kind of situation was right now, even right now on the pandemic situation and some uh, economic uh, analyst would like to adopt those situation into these uh, catastrophic uh, the crisis with the pandemic situations. Not exactly the same, but a lot of similarity exists between the crisis in 
crisis back in 2000, uh, 2007 and 2020, 2020, 2021 with the pandemic situations. Let's look at that. Okay. So uh, the people recognize, at that time, so nobody know yet. The back in 2008, the one paper published in the title was The End of a Theory. The End of a Theory. Why not? Why not theory? So before that, nobody knows. Right? Even if they, they used economic simulation models, every attempt did not succeed explain why those uh, disasters, disasters uh, unprecedented crisis in economic in US from the mortgage loan occur, it failed. So people argue, people curious about and care the existing the, the model. So people interested in adopt new model to interpret those uh, the situations with the different situations. People recognize, people recognize at that time from this publication, this author of this, uh, this paper and article insist it is a Google business model can explain all the disaster situation back in 2007. So please uh, think about why Google Business Model is important right now, the back in 2007, bubble collapse in economic situation in the US, and also even in a present situation under pandemic situations as well. Why this one important? Once again, the back in uh, 1989, the start of start of a digital generations. The professor Timothy John Bernard Lee, Oxford University, invented, invented World Wide Web using his language titled HTML, which means, which means hypertext mark, mark up uh, the language. Before 1989, before World Wide Web, before World Wide Web, the people get together. He insists. He insists. Professor Timothy insists. The people get together, get together only when they believe there is uh, the value. After this, after this, uh, the digital revolution with the World Wide Web, the paradigm behind the value subsequently changed. People get together. That is where the value occurred. There are a big difference between two. Before, before 1989, after 1989, there are two different uh, distinct characteristics with the value. Once again, before 1989, value shows up. And then the people get together. People get together. People require reason why they have to get together, walk together, establish certain uh, the paradigm because there is a value. But after 6, 1989, why people get together? There is no reason at all. This is digital technology, digital generation. People get together, they move certain area to talk about, to enjoy certain things. Even they, in, they would like to enjoy game. They would like to enjoy photo in platform, and then, then the value shows up, come up with a certain value, understand that. Okay, so uh, once again, 
since 1989, WWW Showa, so right? After 10 years, what kind of a situation, new situation occur? After 10 years, in 1998, 1998, search engine show up. Even after 10 years, another 10 years later, Google show up. But this is this, uh, the history of a digital society, digital technology. Please remind you yourself. What show up in 1989? World Wide Web, right? World Wide Web. How about the 10 years later, after 1989? Engine searching crawler, like Explorer, for example. And then another 10 years later, Google show up, Google Business Model. What is Google Business Model, by the way? To explain all the digesters failure to explain digester situation the back in 2007 in US from the bubble collapse with the mortgage loan. Why is Google Business Smart? It is with the big data. It is with the big data. Accumulated since 1998 because the day started engine search. So uh, the, the data start to be gathered through this uh, search engine. Then the back in 2000, seven to 2008, all the big data accumulated more than enough to attract the value into their virtual world with the big data. Without this big data, back in 2007, even if they used the Nobel Prize economic uh, simulation model, they could not explain what causes, what caused economic collapse in US from the bubble situations, okay? And 2020, another 10 years since discovery of the Google business model in 2008, now we have another 10 years after that. What kind of uh, new automations you would like to find in 2021, 2020? Still Google business model. Nobody doubt it. The Google is the most powerful. The company, the Google is not only uh, the company and the corporation. It is, it is like a uh, real reason right now. So everyone, Crazy about this one. Everyone would like to study big data, artificial engineering to attract a new value into even in uh, the virtual reality, virtual world. Right? So that's why, that's why we are living in the Anthropocene era, negative entropy. There is no the human activity, right? Even if we produce data, but actual value comes out of big data, not from human labor, not from human labor, but from big data. That's why we stick to steal Google Business Smart. That's we. That's why we define the times we're living in as the Anthropocene. Right now, the one uh, characteristic uh, trait we would like to be aware of the noticed is transvaluate, transvaluating from labor and time to data. 
even though we still uh, take importance of the how long we walk, that's why we would like to earn a certain money out of a specific time. But more importantly, big benefit, big profit, actually getting out of a big data. What picture of the Anthropocene society can you draw? What kind of characteristic we are? The finding out of this, uh, the new era, the first one. Do you think we still have a free will? Probably yes, but we sometimes argue. The second one, collapse of wage labor. It is not a matter of unemployment, but almost every, almost every uh, area, area out of the enough opportunity with with the job, with the wage labor. Third, the collapse of professionals exploitation system with the government. Government is a strong stream, a strong. They are doing a lot of uh, the good job to overcome the pandemic situations. That's why they are using uh, professionals, expertise, the system such as uh, uh, medical society, pharmaceutical, to invent it, to invent uh, the vaccine, the curing drug, or the COVID-19, uh, 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 the virus disease, but the, also the capital overcome or maybe govern, uh, maybe uh, the control government the systems, including the professional systems. And fourth, morality actually, now, right now, the, with the digital wealth is not clear, especially with the universal basic income right now. So we are facing uh, with a lot of controversy against the tax systems. We have a big uh, the controversy between liberalisms and uh, libertarianisms, right against the left, progressive against the conservative, also at the cryptocurrency, of course, and the non-fungible uh, token NFT technology as well. So uh, the previously we have uh, the strong and the clear morality with, with the value we would like to invent, mostly from the human labor. That's why we have a clear morality but right now is a lot of benefit from the virtual world with the capital, with the other capital as well. So uh, now it is time, I believe, to set up, to establish strong morality with this new uh, the wealth, especially under digital technology. So whenever you study environmental engineering, whenever you study automobile, energy, many different things, Google Business Model still works. Since 2007, we find still white, immorally. Do you think whether this continue in the near future or for a while or forever? What do you think? Do you think Google, Google works the forever? for next generation, think about with the big data. Do you feel any other data except, so generate, generate the beyond range, beyond the ranges the Google cannot reach? How about that? China tried to, but I'm not sure they succeeded. I'm not sure they succeeded. The Google business model, the Googles, the matter, matter company like Amazon, so they they still works. Looks like they control everything in the world, even in world, the virtual world. They occupied right now the digital currency as well. 
right? The Facebook yesterday, so they changed their name, right? Why? Why? Following, they are following new paradigm with this Google business model with the big data. Because, because since WWW 1989, every value show up when the people get together. People get together. So paradigm shift. So you are, you are digital generations. So you decide everything. Like me, all the generations search for the value. Okay, that's the old paradigm. You, you never concern about the value. You get together for fun, for certain things. And then the value show up. That's the Google business model. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Would you like to do? The Tina. Okay, Tina. What is Tina? There is no alternative. There is no alternative except, except working with the digital, working with the digital. Of course, you have to study artificial intelligence, robot, IoT, mobility with the, with the electric car and energy, that battery, right? But, so as I mentioned earlier, please be interested in and care about value standard. What kind of value standard do you have in your mind, in your society, in your community? That's very important right now. That the value is everywhere, okay? Not only in the money and the capital, but in everywhere. That's the big data types of the value form from your interest, from your caring with your community, with your friend, with your the peer, with your colleagues. Not only studying and working with the big data and the robot and battery and mobility situations, please understand situation you are facing with to, to introduce new value into this society. Okay, for examples, for examples, so we are only one option right now with electricity. The from the Korean electric company, Hanguk Jeolleok, we are using one, one uh, socket right now. But how about the, this one? This is, uh, this is the idea from myself. I'm not talking about this is right. I'm not talking about this is right, but this is an example of, a, of a, some idea to face with a new value with energy. What if, what if we have this kind of a socket option? So if you, if you would like to turn on electricity for your class, for your room, we can select a different option of energy source, including nuclear, thermal, solar, wind, bio, and water. And then, then we are supposed to pay different fare, electric fare, but not that much different, but we have to select this one. Once we can select these types of alternative alternative selections, then we use this data different from Google business model, for example. Why? Right now, Google business model, big data from out of Google business model control whole world right now. They are looking at us. They are looking at us from the sky with eagle's eye. How we, how we be against those paradigm under Google Business Smarter, for example. That's the, my idea, to produce a different data. How about this one? Pick your, the, pick the future. We shake, we shake 
order of the big data in the world centering around the US, centering around the China. Even hop in electric bus. Right now we have only one option to pack with uh, the credit card, but we use a different option. Even with the one electric, electricity source with this electric, uh, electric bus, transportation, public transportation. So we can select what kind of source of energy we would like to take to up in uh, to use this electricity bus with a different fare, but not that much different at all. And then we accumulate this, we can accumulate those data to be against the uh, uh, existing paradigm provided by Amazon's Samsung, for example, and uh, the Google business model to generate our own data, new data for next generation. And then new order out of existing order governed by the Google, Amazon, and other mega corporations. Then we free from those one, not only with this energy, so you may generate, you may create a new idea with the new options, not just following existing rope, to follow those rope. That's my idea. That's why I propose overcome, overcome blockchain. Block and chain is a very strong tool to combine every person. Blockchain is good sometimes, Blockchain is revolutionary, revolutionary more than enough to overcome the existing old order. But even young generation like you, digital generation like you, would like to overcome the blockchain even. Okay, a couple of more with you under the Anthropocene, the pandemic situation. The for example. Mm -hmm. The pandemic and corona situation should be over as soon as possible. But but pandemic situation, the coronavirus give us opportunity to think of another ecosystem together with the animal, together with the even a bacteria to overcome the virus attack. Virus is also the microorganisms. We would like to live together in near future. The human right now to stick to a lot of different uh, the capital and money and the crypto, a lot of benefit out of those one, but the ecosystem name nature require and ask us to think of whole picture with the ecological systematic. Okay. Also, we are facing with inequality problem with wealth under this pandemic situations. That's the another assignment and homework we would like to overcome after pandemic situation and even with a pandemic situation. And also we use genetic modification, right? Genetic modification to, to make a vaccine, especially mRNA vaccine from Pfizer and Moderna, right? But, so we have to think of all over again, even if this one is a help, to overcome the pandemic situations, we are not the sharp-eyed watchmaker. Okay, do you remember Selfish Gene written by Richard Dawkins a long time ago? So we are all the blind watchmaker. Now we are making modification, even if it is safe. So I agree, mRNA is safe, maybe safe. Okay, I'm not sure. 
But after pandemic situations, we have to think of those are those are those are the science all over again. That's not another homework, I believe. Couple more. So even morality. So we are facing, especially in Korea, with a very high index of inequality with the housing problem right now. Everyone agree, right? And and a controversy, controversial competition between capital and the nationalisms, I believe. We have to think about it, this one again, under the Anthropocene. The probably we have to use uh, the diverse ethic by defining, by defining devil in different way, in different way. How about the climate crisis? How about climate crisis? So we are now, I believe everyone are doing their best to overcome this climate crisis. But, but a lower, for example, carbon tax, even with the international uh, agreement centered around the UN. So they are doing their best, but low regulations cannot do everything. There are some holes, there are some uh, cage between the, between the real world and uh, anticipated goal. Okay. Right, you agree? So Greta Thunberg activists, they are doing best, but we fear that there are some gap the between utopian types of the, the digital uh, the scenario and the people in the world, in the real world. So there are big gap. How we actually narrow down those gap between, between uh, the good, sometimes bad, sometimes ever, sometimes the, uh, uh, the situations. Not only we would like to criticize what, uh, what the situation behind the, the climate change, but also we would like to the question justice itself for especially next generations. That's the my asking you to think of those situations all over again with the climate change, climate justice in moral way, as well as in ethical way. But there is one uh, good news because we are not uh, the robotic situations. Please look at behind the wall. So right now, so everyone talking about even, even US, that China, many leaders are talking about the importance of uh, the fourth uh, industrial revolution with uh, the big data, AI, robot, the energy and battery, all the, uh, the good mood in economic situation in future. But I'd rather like ask you to look at the behind those uh, dreaming types of that, to look at yourself. Everyone talking about, and everyone has uh, the different view. And then you are outstanding, I believe, more than enough to understand those situation under the Anthropocene era. Because you are a digital generation, you have a wisdom enough to understand outstanding character of yourself. Because outstanding means not paid yet. Okay, please do not constrain yourself in all the frame with uh, the big data, artificial intelligence, automatic society, but, but open every, uh, every world, every, every op opportunity to you with outstanding character, this thing's a trait with you. That's my message of this in the Anthropocene. 
Okay, thank you for your attention. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, this is it today. Today, so don't forget to leave your name in the chatting uh, window. Okay, thank you for attention.